Hey Diana, how are you? Hey, I'm good. How about you? Was feeling lonely, so I thought I should text you. Oh, what's wrong? Why isn't Manny talking to me? I tried calling him so many times, but he wasn't answering. He must be busy with his classes. I want to talk to him. I don't think he feels comfortable enough right now. Please, I've been getting anxiety attacks lately, and it's getting worse. I don't know what else I should do. I'm so sorry for being a jerk, but I'm willing to change, I swear. Are you okay? Do you want to see a doctor? I already went there as well. I was in bed for the last two days due to high fever. My weight keeps fluctuating and, well, no one is with me. That's why I texted you, Diana. Okay, I get it. Hey, I want to ask you something else. Yeah, go ahead. I met Patricia again last night. Whoa, okay, and? She told me something about Manny. Listen, I have no interest in what she said, and I don't understand why are you still talking to her. When you told me you'd be cutting all ties with her. I just can't ignore her. And when I was sick, she was here with me. I owe her that much. I don't know about you, but that woman better stays away from us. But it's only fair to listen to the other party side. What else is there to talk about, huh? God, Henry, give me a break. Manny was using her. Did you know that? She came crying to me, confessing everything about what happened between her and Manny, and how he was the one who made the first move on her. What the... Henry, do you have any idea what you're saying right now? Manny is not like that. Yes, I do. And you believe that liar? She's not a liar. He even drunk dialed her on his birthday. She told me about it. Oh God, can you be a little more specific? So apparently, Manny called Patricia on his birthday and confessed to her all drunk. The next day, they decided to meet, and he told her he liked her. She rejected him, saying she had feelings for me then. But he tried to convince her, asking if she could give him a chance. I was baffled when I heard it first, but the more I listened to her story, the more I believed her. I was unavailable then, busy with all these other people, so I never got the time to give her my answer correctly. So she too decided to stop waiting for me and started talking to Manny. But as they were getting close, Manny got insecure about how she once held feelings for me and then started seeing other girls. She was heartbroken, but didn't know how to confine it. Even I was busy studying and managing all my friend problems. But now I need to confront Manny. I need to ask him if he really did this to her. I think that's why he doesn't want to talk to me. Because he's jealous of me. I mean, I understand that. She had feelings for me, but why did he have to such an rude to her? He really changed? Huh. I never expected him to be like this, but it's a good thing I maintained my distance from him. He's now the party guy, who loves entertaining women instead of being considerate towards his friendships. Dude, this sounds pure nonsense to me. Do you even talk to him before reaching this conclusion? Don't make me play the mediator here. And Manny would never do it. Please, Diana, you know I'm not the best when it comes to explaining things. I need your help tomorrow. I'm gonna visit his place, so ask Kat and Matthew to go there as well. We all can talk and solve our misunderstandings. Kat is out with her roommates for a small road trip, and I have some work to do. What work? Is it more important than this? Man, it's not possible for me. What about Mad? I'll go call him. Don't do that. He must be busy with his brother. Do you guys sleeping together or in cheer? What? What do you mean? Oh, please, Diana, don't try to play innocent. You're sleeping with Mad. Oh my God, that's why you're acting so suspicious. What the hell is with your attitude, man? You can't just sleep with your friend. I know you had a crush on him, but this is breaking the code. It's only going to complicate our friend group. Holy shit, dude. What time are we living in? 16th century? And what's the code you're babbling about? There is no code. And even I'm sleeping with Mad, then why do I have to have a prior discussion about this with you? 
of all people. I'm not obligated to ask your permission for what I want to do in my freaking life. And this is why I was away from you guys. I came back because you guys were begging me. But now I feel like you guys don't give two shits about me. That many also isn't rude. And Kat is all about drinks and traveling. The girls need some serious discipline classes. What are her values? How disrespectful can you be? Oh man, I can't keep up with your BS anymore. And that's what I get in return for being a good friend who always tried to help and guide you morons. Did you really forget how I was the one who stayed by your side when you felt alone? Or how I ran for Manny because he was sick and needed meds? I was the one who spent hours listening to Kat's awful dating life. But the moment I asked her for help, you guys turned your back on me. Despite all that shit, I always forgave you guys. But still, this is how you guys treat me. Especially you, Diana. You were the one who told me you'll always be by my side. But now you're screwing Matthew behind my back and don't even have an hour to spend with me. I was your friend, your first friend in university. How can you forget me like this? You're unbelievable, Henry. How long are you going to blame us for everything? We did everything to be the friends you always looked for. But your expectations are way too high, man. We are not your servants. We wanted things to get better, but you pushed us away. We tried so many times, but you were busy with that, Patricia. I was disturbed, okay? I was sick, and COVID only messed me up more. She was my pillar, and she was a better friend than you guys could ever be. But I want you guys back, still after everything. So why aren't you guys trying enough? God, I'm getting another panic attack. Calm down, Henry, please. Fine, I'll ask them then. Do so. You're the only keeping us together as friends. As a family, I hope you won't let us break. I know, I can be difficult, but you understand how I am, right? I'm sorry for troubling you, but you're the only one who can help me now. Okay, I get it. Thank you, Diana. That's why you're the best. Logging out, I lie down on my bed with a long, exhausted sigh. Henry was always like this. But my foolishness gave his narcissistic head the audacity to treat his other three friends and me like crap for the last three years. When we became friends during my first year in college, everything was going fine. While conservative, he was kind and supportive. But his unrealistic expectations of us started to grow. But he often used his mental health to send us on a guilt trip. He thought he owned us, as we were supposed to work according to him. And with me being the closest to him, I kept going emotionally drained. When COVID happened, all four got a break from him. He always wanted all the attention. And when Matthew and I got close, he started calling me selfish. I could not keep up with his attitude. So Manny and I got into flight with him and stopped talking to him for more than a year. Even Kat got tired of him because of his sexist attitude and how he body shamed her while Matthew, since the beginning, maintained a distance from me. Now, no longer felt the need to entertain his entitled ass anymore. We forgot close in that period while he left, but during our final year, we four decided to reconcile with him, because I believe in forgiving people. I decided to talk to him again. That was a stupid move, though. Manny still wanted to keep his distance. The way Henry constantly belittled him, he was not as tolerant as he were. And while Kat and I tried to be friends with him again, he kept ignoring us and stuck with our classmate Patricia, who was more or less like him, manipulative and a narcissist who was using him for her own entertainment. She was also trying to make a move on Manny, but when he rejected her, she created her own sob story to get Henry's attention. He thought he didn't want to be friends with us and decided to move on. But with his self-centered attitude, he came into our lives again, acting all high and mighty while blaming us for bringing that gap between us. Every chat I have with him now reminds me of my first year student's days, when he would emotionally drain me and make me feel guilty of things I had ever done. Moreover, his friendly, flirtatious remarks disgusted me. He acted like a creep, while telling everyone it was a mask to hide his actual sincere facade. 
He was even liked by many of our classmates. But only we four knew the kind of bastard he was. And now that he plans on making Manny the bad guy, while presenting himself as the hero and Patricia his love interest, I feel my patience thinning. We have dragged his drama for more than it deserved. Now, it was time to kick the Henry character out of our lives. Henry is making a comeback with a nasty storyline. I'm just processing all the shit he threw at me. That bastard. He just doesn't leave you alone, huh? I so want to punch him right now. He knows about us too. Was the winning about how you broke the code and shit? What the hell is his problem? I don't know and I don't care anymore. He want all of us to meet at Manny's place. To have a save our friendship conversation. I thought he was smart enough to realize we no longer associate ourselves with him. He's far from a friend of any of us. Patricia is back in his life and that bastard believe her again. And she's playing the victim card again. Saying Manny tried to make a move on her and all when she was not one bit interested in her. What the hell? That dude regrets drunk dialing her that night big time. That's what he know, but Henry's does not, and he was bad-mouthing him as well. God, I can't keep up with him anymore. Then don't. He wants us to meet up at Manny's place, to have a conversation, but I gotta ask Manny first. Can you let Cat know? Will do. You go ahead and tell him. Even though he acts like he doesn't care, he still cared a lot of that bastard. Yep, we'll call you later. Love you. Love you too. Got a text from Henry a few hours ago. He wants to talk to you, Manny. Apparently, Patricia told him you tried to make a move on her after drunk dialing her on your birthday. And he believes her. So? When he believes her? Why does he want to talk to me now? Because he's the so-called whitest dude who always listens and understands. He's a loving person who guided us toward the light. And now that his friend has started away from the path, he wants to bring him back by belittling him even more. I don't understand. Why you're still in touch with him, Diana? You should hate him more than any of us here. But you're still keeping up with his bitty ass. Block him. Okay, fine. I will. But have you? It's not about me. It is. Listen, as much as we hate to say it now, we genuinely cared for that guy. We thought we could make it. We could be friends again and he would stop acting like an asshole. I gambled and so did you guys. And you guys were hurt as much as I was when he ignored us during the trip. The way he kept sidelining us while we tried to bring him back, the way he talked to us, spoke about us behind our back, the way he believed that snake instead of the friends he so proudly says he loves. This is just not about me. And Manny, he wants to talk to you about the whole Patricia ordeal. If you wish to settle it, settle it all for once. I'm not obligated to explain shit to him, Diana. I know. No one here is. But let's be honest. If we don't end this now and just ignore it as we have been for the last seven months, we will find our ways back here again. I know. He heard you a lot, Manny. You really considered him your friend. We all did. That's why we're stuck in the spiral. I did, but I never thought he would sell me out like this or prioritize a side chick over me. Well, it's nothing surprising, but still, it hurts. What does he want to talk? At your place, he want all of us there. Let's end it then. I'm done with this insufferable head anyway. Gotta throw him out in the trash can where he belongs. Yep. <laughs> You were right about Patricia Cad. You should have trusted your instincts. Henry thinks Manny played with her feelings, and now he's playing the hero for her. He wants to have a chat with Manny, and all of us too. Stop right there. Don't explain anything else. I told you guys, she's bad news. And that Henry? Goodness. That narcissistic prick? Did he text Diana first? Yep. Expecting her to believe his sob story and belittled Manny behind his back again. He gotta go now. I'm already leaving all these toxic people in my life behind. He needs to go too. Dude insulted me in front of that witch, saying how fat am I and shit, while she has such a sexy figure. I'll join you, Kat. Don't worry, but you should have punched him for that then and there. 
Too used to people shitting on me, mad. But it's time I stop and take a stand for myself. Sending you a big hug. I hope you won't let something like that happen to you again. Sending it back. <laughs> I'll try my best. But sometimes I wish he hadn't changed this much. Ugh, screw that Patricia. He's not a child, Cad. He changed on his own. And he even knows about Diana and me now. And got some issues with that too. I'm gonna kick his balls if he complains about this shit. You two were so obvious from the start. He wanted Diana to babysit him for the rest of his life. Gosh, I still remember those days. Freshman year was something, huh? It was. But we have to let this shitty person go now. Let's end it then. <laughs> it's time to clean up the toxicity in our lives. And then we're going on a road trip, all four of us. Hell yeah, sounds like a plan. Maybe making that choice was the best decision for us. We were nervous, but the moment we met up with Henry, all our anger just came right out. Especially Manny, who was called the villain in the story that Patricia made up. We were not just angry because he believed a girl he had known for the last few months. We were mad because he always thought he was the best. His entitled and manipulative attitude made us realize how big of a jerk Henry was to all of us. The whole Patricia thing was just an excuse for us to clear things with him. We argued for an hour, and all four of us took a stand for ourselves. It was a matter of self-respect. We could no longer let him walk all over us. If only you hadn't treated us like a shit and actually worked on your mistakes, things would have been a lot different. Manny said to Henry as he was leaving his house in a furry. He could not believe we all ganged up on him, but that's what he deserved. We were hiding our emotions for far too long. We gave him a lot of chances, but he never changed, so we did what we had to. Now it's just us four, and believe me, we are way more at peace than we were when Henry was around. He's more or less invisible to us. I even got to hear Patricia no longer contacts him now. Funny, how he threw away his friends for that witch. Now, karma is getting his ass. And I feel so happy about that. <laughs>